Te salve María y andales de gracia, el Señor es contigo, bendita tú eres en el trono. Welcome back to cooking with bird where I cook and talk a lot. I'm never quiet, but this is my intro. Que esta pa la chingada, but I made it up. Dun, 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 dun. Y la verdad es que esto. Okay, yeah. okay. What's up, everybody? What the fuck is going on? Welcome back to Cooking with Bird Martinez, the one, the only. Bird motherfucking Dines, bitch. Say louder for the bitches in the back. All the bitches in the back. All the fucking puta sucias in the way back. All the motherfucking puta sucias in the way back, 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 back. What's up, everybody? Ooh, the booby coming out. Ooh, look at them 32 A's, bitch. So ever since this bullshit, you know what I'm saying? I lost weight. I don't know if it's because I don't move. I don't know. I do move, but, you know, I don't move like I used to. So my muscles are like, skirt. And my piernas got skinny. My arms got skinny. My pussy been skinny. No, I'm skinny. Um, yeah, but there's a difference between fat pussies and skinny pussies. And I always, I don't want to put on blast, but I have a sibling that has a fat pussy. And I would always tell her. Dude, you got the fattest pussy. Like, no wonder fucking people like you. No wonder your chorizo likes you. And my pussy's skinny. And I like. I think I like it. I mean, it's not like toda like like a fucking peach, you know? Like a fat pussy. And, you know, I remember when I was, like, before I lost my virginity, I looked at it. I got a mirror and everything. I was so weird, dude. I got a mirror and I looked at it and it looked like a little closed peach. Like, I don't know how to explain. Like a fucking peach. Like a fucking peach. So anyways, um, and then after I lost my virginity, it looked like a broke, like, not like a broken peach, but it looked like a little open peach. Like, I didn't look all fucking loosey, like all like pincha aguada, vieja aguada, but it didn't look like a peach anymore. So anyways, I was so weird when I was young. I don't know if I'm the only one, but I remember one time, um, como se dice? I don't know why I did this, but I put alcohol on my pussy. I don't know. I think I just wanted to know how it felt. I don't know why I did that. I'm so fucking weird. So I put it there. That shit fucking burned for like minutes and minutes. And I was like, why am I so fucking fucked up in the head? Why do I do these things? I don't know. I really don't know no more. So anyways, so before we start the video, I wanted to give some cheese me, some tea, you know, because some shit happened. Pinche Benita, hija de la chingada. Benita, we don't know if it's a boy or a girl, like I told you guys. So we have this cat, right? And she is like, or he is fucking confused. Se llama Benita, se llama Benito. But anyways, so this shit happened to me. To us, to my familia, and I wanted to share with you guys because I know, I know you single moms out there in the world have gone through this, and it's just like, oh my gosh. Okay, so you guys know that my dad left when I was five, and he was a fucking fuck boy. Like he never called me, he never like cared if I ate, if I had somewhere to live, if I had a bed to live in to sleep in nothing right so anyways so then it took my mom eight years to finally get married to my stepdad and this motherfucker was like stalking my mother he would like um we would walk to church and actually it was just a park it was a boys and girls club and that's where they used to do the church and he used to follow my mother you know but mind you my mom has a big old butt like back then she got a big old fucking onion butt you know and um i know he was looking at that you know and then morenita pelo negro chulada de mujer not only that hard working um and he finally convinced her it took him two years and he was like oh giving her the fucking andole, bajandole la luna y las estrellas so in in english i don't know if 
if it makes sense but he was bringing the moon and the stars down to the flow anyways so my stepdad and my mother became a family and it was fucked up with me because they didn't even fucking ask me like oh is it okay we get married i was 14 at this time and i remember when i was 16 i was looking for like my um social security so i could get a job and i was as i was looking for the social security um i found the picture and in the picture it was my mother my stepdad that they had gotten married and that shit fucked me up because i felt like como se dice como they were a family and i was just pushed on the side you know and i i i became like a little hood rat you know i had my whole life but i i used to blame that but i just wanted to do whatever the fuck i wanted to do you know we try to fucking blame the parents and situations but if you want to say pinches drogas if you want to say puta see you're gonna have anger issues and you want to blame it on your stepdad on the fucking on your fucked up shit yeah i know some people get raped and all that but we make our fucking decisions you know everybody has gone through the shit you see a bitch all fucking happy all fucking successful you don't know what the fuck she's been through she made a decision to be successful even though all the bullshit so anyways so my um then i got with Mario when i was 18 and my mom and my stepdad got a house it was a fucking badass house it was like a two-story it was like wow they got a house but um they uh they had renters you know they had people that live there and i remember i used to go visit my mom in lunch because i worked in the same town so one day one of the renters it was a couple the girl the husband and uh the, they had a son the ladies like oh i'm leaving my husband because i'm a i'm an abused woman like Toda pinche ofendida, la pendeja, estúpida cara de perros. Pinche cara de, ni de perro, cara de rata. Pinche vieja arrastrada, gedionda, mal nacida, mal cogida y mal, sepa la chingada. So anyways, she left like, like a week and then the next week my stepdad left. This whole time, these two motherfuckers were having an affair and they left to TJ together and like they were just lovers and shit. And um, I guess my, when my mom finally found out, my stepdad was like, oh, let's go live in TJ. Like you could find a job over there. And my mom was like, you're either gonna choose the kids and me or that fucking bitch. And my stepdad chose that fucking bitch. And I remember it was around Christmas. My mom had two jobs. You know, she was trying to pay the mortgage. These motherfuckers left, like the renters, so they weren't helping out anymore. My stepdad left. It was 2008 when everything went to shit. So now, how many fucking years later? He left when my brother was one and my sister was five. So 14 years later. My brother is having such a fucking hard time just ugh, becoming a man. He's not going to school. He's being a fuck boy. He's not listening to my mom. His whole ninth grade year of high school, he hasn't attended. And he's gone to therapy. You know, we try to talk to him. Like, he's all angry. Like, he, like, he told me to shut the fuck up once through the phone. And I really, like, uh, I remember one time, like, asking him, like, what the fuck is the problem? Like, what are you so angry about? And he said that I hit him and that I told him that he was dead to me. By the way, this shit was like six, seven years ago. Y era porque he said some shit to my mom and he pretended like he was going to hit her. So I fucking skirt, skirt my ass all the way the fuck over there where he was. I pulled down his pants and I spanked him in the ass one fucking time. And this motherfucker didn't even get a real ass whooping. A fucking real bird ass whooping like a royal ass whooping. And he's blaming it on that. So anyways, so, you know, we tried so many different things. We tried talking to him. You know, we called the cops. 
But now, like, California so lenient with the school. Like, before, they would fucking, like, give you truancy tickets and, you know. But now, ever since COVID, there's so many kids fucking up in school. So I was thinking, like, what should I do? What should I do? And I was like, maybe my brother, what he has is, like, his, he, has, he needs closure. Like, at one time when he was eight, I asked him, so what happened with your dad? Why, don't, why is your dad not here? And my brother said... My dad didn't want me, you know, and that shit fucking broke my heart. Anyways, I contacted my stepdad through my mom's Facebook. Problems that my brother's going through pretending I was my mom. And then this motherfucker responded and he's like, yes, I want to see my son. Let me know when. Give me your number. So instead of giving him my mom's number, I gave him my number. And then this motherfucker called me, but I was like, out of it i was like just waking up and mario just like answered and he's like esta beatriz and i was like what i thought he said esta Cris," and i was like no so then he messaged my mom messaging me and said um que digo? he's like oh you gave me the wrong number because they i called you and it said it's the wrong number so then i lied to him and i told him that it was his daughter the one that answered so anyways so he wants to see his son and his daughter, but now I had to convince my mom. And my siblings were like pressuring me, like, when are you gonna tell my mom? When are you gonna tell my mom? And I was like, fuck, 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 fuck. What am I gonna do? So anyways, I finally told my mom and my mom lost her fucking shit. She's like, no, now that they're grown, he wants to see them, it's too late. She fucking lost it. Did you know that he wanted to abort him? And when she was telling me this, my sister and my brother were right there. And I told my mom, why the fuck would you say that she, he wanted you to abort him in front of him? Like, this is how we fuck up as mothers. When we have beef with these motherfuckers, we're so mad at them. Me un pedo. Problems with these motherfuckers, we take it all of the, We like, let the kids know. And that's what the fuck the problem is. The kids don't need to know shit. You know what I'm saying? Keep it on the low, low. So anyways, um, my sis my other sister was listening on FaceTime on mute. They were like, <gasps> you know, because I was like, no, mommy, mom, but it's about the kids. You need to like leave your, your hurtness like to the side. I know you're fucking hurt. Fuck this fool. But it's for my brother so he could have some like mental stability. Like, he's fucking, like, crazy right now. He, he needs a father. Yes, a woman could raise a man, but it's really fucking hard. Not all boys are the same. I know some girls that have raised some awesome-ass men by themselves. But then, also, there's some weak-ass fucking boys that need their fucking father. And if my stepdad, my ex-stepdad wants to be in his life, why not? He raised, he raised this other fucking kid that wasn't even his. Fuck that fool. You know, give give my brother some fucking time that he deserves. So anyways, my mom lost her shit. But then the next day, she called me and she said she's going to go to a retiro this Saturday. She's going to go to retiros like when they go to church and they spend like, like eight hours praying and singing and shit. And she says that she's going to ask God for an answer. And then she could like, she's going to let me know what the fuck is up like. Yes, no, maybe, what the fuck is going on? So I am so excited because I want my brother to have closure. I know my brother is curious. I know I grew up without a dad and I was always curious. I always thought that when I turned 15, my my dad was gonna come and roll up in a car and be like, I'm sorry, daughter, for everything that I did, that I wasn't there, here's a car. I always imagined like what we had in common I didn't even fucking talk to my dad until he was he was about to die, like a day before he fucking died. And I wanted to know all his stories. You guys know that I fucking love stories. I talk to viejitos anywhere. I love talking to older people because they have so many stories. They're like our treasures. They're golden. Like once they're gone, we don't have their stories anymore. And now that my dad is dead, my mom's like, forgave him, forgave my dad, but like my stepdad my dad did some more shit you know 
And I know my stepdad's a fuckboy too. But it's not about the fucking... It's not about the fucking bullshit. It's about the fucking kids. And my dad ain't no motherfucking saint. That motherfucker, like... You know? He he never gave a fuck about us. He would come home with fucking hickeys off fuckies. But anyways... Today, I know I talked a lot, but it was like cheese my time. So anyways, so today's video is about pesto pasta. Bitch, let me tell you, this receta came through because Sofia, the motherfucking tortilla. Okay, time, motherfucker, so here cheese. we go. So for this and receta, like, we're going to use a gang of basil. Um, and of course, my little chile. horse, we're going to use a Queso cotija. Cotija. cotija cheese. I use a polvo so one like for the elotes. Fire. And um, some garlic. Like, also, I got like, some noodles. Sofia likes my these curly ones. I don't know what the they're bread. called. And I'm going to use so chicken I breast. I'm actually I'm using chicken milanesa because it's easier. Salt, oil, avocado oil, go. and go. water. So I'm going to like yo, start my yo, pot. Yo. I'm going to use my handy dandy thingy that I always use to get my water. Like, I know it's not like, como se dice the way everybody does it because everybody fills their pot first and whatever look at my big ass scars so i'm trying to work on my scars and i use the moderma i'm using everything the silicone shit vitamin a b c d e elemental p so for i put the water first and then i add some salt you know what i'm saying shake it don't motherfucking break it some people put a little bit of oil, but I don't know. I don't fuck with that. I don't know what that's for. I guess it's so the noodles don't stick. But if you don't want your noodles don't to not stick, just don't leave them there. That's all I can do. That's that's how I know how to do shit. Anyways, I'm taking off the ligas of the basil. And I'm going to take off the stem. I usually like the stem on my cilantro. But this stem is a little thicker. You know what I'm saying? So just take off the leaves. Do the damn thing. As you can see, I'm doing this all by myself. And I'm following it a little bit. Pa que se apure. Because I took a long time doing this shit. I was like, chingue su madre, chingue su madre. Ch ch chingue su madre, chingue su madre. Andale, pinche vieja loca, apúrate. Sometimes I like forget that I'm like disabled. Y nomás hago las cosas. And that's a good thing because, bitch, you're not always going to be thinking like, bitch, I can't do this. Sometimes you got to be like, bitch, I could do this. And I'm going to fucking do this. Y si se puede, chingue su madre. No tengo nada. I'm actually a really healthy person. That's all I know. Like, nothing else is wrong with me but this fucking nerve damage. So, so anyways, once the water is boiling, then you add the noodles. This is how I learned. I know people do it different ways. But this is what works for me. And don't leave him too long, like fucking three minutes. Boom, chakalaka, motherfucker. It's over. As you can see, I have burns in my hands again and again and again. I'm like used to that shit like every motherfucking day. A new burn, a new scar, a new fucking cut. Pero pues, ¿qué le voy a hacer? ¿Qué voy a hacer? ¿Qué voy a hacer? ¿Qué voy a hacer si Eva María se fue? So, I'm not pointing at it. I'm actually putting the noodles that I forgot to put or that fell on the side. Now, I'm going to add the basil. And I'm going to squeeze that bitch inside the, como se dice? A pinch of blender. And as you can see, I have a lot. I don't even know how many I got. I think I got like six. But I got a gang of them. So, anyways, just squeeze them bitches all up in there. Como sea, you know, I use this spoon because it helps me instead of putting my hand because before i used to put my hand and then i would come out my hand and it was like full of blood because it would get cut with the damn razor thingies or whatever pero pues todo tiene su pinche maña soy una pinche mañosa way if i don't if i fuck up the first time the second time the third time the fourth time i will find a motherfucking way and this is my way of doing things now Toda pinche chueca. So I wanted to show you guys this part. So before I could not even hold the pot. But look at me now. Bitch making the fucking pot. My fucking puta. You know fucking her in the ass. I know I be doing too much sometimes. But whatever. This is how I talk. So anyways I put the um, chicken milanesa. And I'm going to add some dash on that ass. And of course my little horse some salt. You know, I like dash because it's not salt. It doesn't have salt in it. So you could like 
over season it, overdo it, and nothing bad will happen. Because sometimes with some seasonings, if you add a little bit too much, ya valió madre. I fuck with Chef Merito seasoning, but like, um, yeah, I messed up so many times where I added way too much, y valió madre. But anyways, um, I'm going to add some oil on this bitch, and yes, I'm using avocado oil, porque it's good for your health. You know what I'm saying? So while that's doing its thing, chicken wing, I'm going to add the queso to the basil. And my little chaparritos over there in the bag. He has the best fucking hair, bro. It's so cute. I don't know. He didn't get the color of my hair, but he got my hair, I think. I don't know. I don't really know no more. So anyways, I added the whole bag. You don't have to add the whole bag. You know, if you don't like as much cheese. Then you could add Parmesan cheese or less cheese. But since I added a gang of basil, I'm going to add a gang of cheese. And then I added some garlic on that bitch. And of course, my little horse, I am going to add the oil. The damn salsa is right there bugging me. I don't know why I was doing that. Like, leave that bitch alone. Calm down, Erica. Calm down, fucking bird. Anyways, I added some um, oil. I don't know the exact measurements. But, you know, add a little bit and then blend it. And if it's too dry, then you add more. And if that bitch is too dry, then you add more. That's how I do it. But anyways, this is the brand that I use. Because this oil, um, you could use it for like really hot shit, cold shit, medium shit. And look at my chaparrito. Ahí está el pinche cabezón. Every time he's always trying to tell me his stories or whatever. I'm like, I told him. You're my friend? Because he told me, he's like, Mommy, I have no friends. And I'm like, but I'm your friend. And you know what this motherfucker told me? He told me, you're not my friend. You're just my mom. And I'm like, andale pinche culero. Síguele con tus pinches mamadas. Who's the one that listens to everything you fucking have to say? Me, your motherfucking mom. And your fucking friend. So anyways, I flipped the, um, ¿cómo se llama? La milanesas de pollo. You know, when they're thin, that's why I like milanesas de pollo, because they cook faster. Because with chicken, it's, like, complicated. If it's too thick, it takes longer. They have to put it in the oven, and then na, na na And then somebody gets, like, a pink spot in the middle, and they're like, bitch, you don't know how to cook. You, This fucking chicken is going to give me salmonella. So that's why I always like to get little wings, little chicken legs, little everything when it comes to chicken. Fucking milanesa de pollo is the best for this recipe. I'm telling you because I know. So anyways, I flipped that bitch and I'm going to season that bitch on the other side because I forgot. And now I'm going to blend this bitch. You know where I fucked up, dude? So I blended it, but I blended it too long. I didn't want it as pasty. So because I was making the damn video and talking to el chorizo... I got distracted. So don't get distracted and don't blend it for too long. You know, stay trusha with the motherfucking carrusha. Y ponte las pinches pilas. So blend it like when it's about like this. Just put the cheese down and then blend, and then just stop. But because I was talking, it got like blended and blended and blended and it got pasty. But anyways, so this is the pollito. Míralo, míralo. Todo asadito, todo sexy, todo crispy. Todo ready to go. And I'm going to cut it. But every time I'm about to cut some shit, I always sharpen my knife. My handy dandy knife. And look at me with the fucking skills. I'm so proud of myself, bitch. Because look, it's like stacked up. Stacked the fuck up. It's like six chicken milanesas. And I'm cutting them shits like nothing. And I'm using the, ¿cómo se llama? The tenazas. The tongs. Thong, ta thong, thong, thong. Yeah, I story. And that's a good thing about not feeling one side. Because even though it's hot, I don't fucking care. I don't that's why I get cut so much and burnt so much. Because I feel like I have a thing. Like I could fucking grab the comal. I could fucking put my hand in here and put my hand in there. Stretch my hand all around because I don't feel and I don't give a fuck. But no, I have to take care of myself. Pero no, I estoy de pinche mamona. Pendeja estupida animala. But anyways. So I cut the chicken long ways. And then I'm going to cut the chicken like the other way. Like like in little. Um, Como se dice? Little squares. 
But not squares. It's like long squares. So anyways, aquí están las noodles. Now I'm going to add the sexiness over here. I'm telling you, it's way too thick. But then I didn't want to add more oil because I don't want to waste oil. It's not supposed to be pasty. But I was like, chinga su madre. You know, sometimes, sometimes people be giving recipes and then they fuck up on their own recipe. But I'm telling you, where I messed up is I blended it too much. But this is supposed to be more loosey. Lucy, like your motherfucking pussy. Pero that's just fucking bomb, though. Like, it doesn't even matter, you know? Pinches noodles, it, it was, it, they still came out good as fuck. I don't know. I think this shit is fucking fire. I know it's not, like, as, like, loose as I like it, pero sabio buena. Y ahí está con el chicken. I even put a little leaf on the top so I could look like fancy, sophisticated bitch as of the motherfucking world. Y ahí está. There you go, yo. Boom, chakalaka, madafaka. So, aquí está la sauce. It's because I, I hold weird because I'm a fucking weirdo. So, yeah, that's how it looks. I don't know. Me miro toda pinche mongolita a la chingada, pero aquí andamos. Mongolita, pero bien perrita. So, anyways, así me gusta. This right here is the best motherfucking snack. Sometimes I come like at 12, 1. Two, three, four, five. No, it's kidding. I get hungry like at one in the morning. And I just do a little this, a little that. And it lasts like I think a week, a week and a half in the in the fridge. So anyway, cheers. Mmm. Mmm. It's so salty. Well not too salty. Like the basil. So fucking good. That's what I'm talking about. But then you get thirsty. I'm trying to drink more water, bitch, because those were the last words of my dad. He said, drink water. So I'm going to listen to him. See, I'm so conflicted. I'm like, fuck my dad, but then I'm going to listen to him. I don't know. But I wouldn't get a tattoo of him. My sister got a tattoo. My big sister got a tattoo and says, Beata and Juan, because my mom's name is Beatriz, but my mother hates it when they call her Beata. She fucking hates it with a passion, and my sister got that tattooed on her. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But anyways, thank you for watching. Thank you for the motherfucking love. Thank you for the motherfucking hate. Shout out to all my, my bird gang, 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 gang motherfuckers. Peace and motherfucking love. Love. Dos mujeres. Un cap. What was that? I have two twin gums. Oh, that's right. Dos mujeres. mujeres. Un camino. Un camino. Dos mujeres. Dos mujeres. Compartiendo. Compartiendo. El mismo hombre. El, el mismo. mismo amor. Hombre, mis mamos. Chimamona.